Listen to this. Sanctuary cities, as you know, across the country still resisting President Trump's immigration policies, some even doubling down on their defiance. A number of these cities plan to use tax dollars to pay the legal fees of immigrants whose status is challenged by the president's policies. Is that too far? Here with the debate, Democratic strategist Kathy Aru and the president of the Federation of the American Immigration Reform, Dan Stein. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so what they're trying to do is they're going to spend, particularly in Sacramento, California, they're going to put up uh, something like $300,000, Kathy, yeah. to defend uh, people who are in this country illegally uh, from deportation and things like that. And you're 100% okay with that. I am okay with that because it's actually not exa everyone's taxpayer money. This is their taxpayer money. In California alone, they pay, uh, undocumented people pay, I have here, $3 billion in property and sales taxes. And in Sacramento alone, they're paying $30 million in property and sales taxes. So these are their tax dollars as opposed to right. saying others' tax dollars. Okay. So getting 300000 back for legal fees to help families stay together. I say it's a drop in the bucket compared to what they're paying in taxes. Well, Dan, uh, the mayor out there said we are not a city that will exchange people's civil rights for money. If you're in this country illegally, what kind of civil rights do you have? Well, remember, a deportation or removal proceeding is a civil procedure. It's not a criminal procedure. And I had no idea that 40 million poor Americans or our veterans or descendants of veterans or our American descendants of slaves all had access to the legal services at taxpayer expense that they need for landlord-tenant disputes or arguments with the government. I mean, you already have hundreds of millions of dollars of pro bono legal assistance from America's major law firms to try to stop enforcement of immigration laws. And now we're all supposed to pay because the Democrats Democratic Party opposes immigration law enforcement. I think everybody should resent this and realize that this is a true division in this country, separating those who respect the rule of law from those who want to obstruct it. Kathy? Well, I, 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 these people, a lot of them, these are, these are innocent before guilty. We've had dreamers caught up in this de deportation gatherings, and, and, and we've actually deported dreamers, and they're legally allowed to be in this country. So this is trying to keep families together legally. They need to know their legal rights, and many of them are allowed to be here. Dan, so this is not much money. Sort of Dan, we're going to give point. you the final word. Of these people, regardless of the um, dreamers, the balance of the people we're talking about are in this country illegally. No, no one is entitled to a taxpayer court-appointed attorney in a civil removal proceeding. So basically, this is a continuation of giving one group of people, lawbreakers who jump the line, more benefits and more opportunity than all the law-abiding citizens of this country combined. They're law-abiding as well. All right. No, they're not. Well, I tell you what, uh, they estimate that 10 percent of the people in Sacramento are in the country, and in the country illegally, but apparently not in the city. All right. Uh, Dan and Kathy, thank you very much.